Jesus told this story to his disciples. A rich man hired an accountant to handle his affairs, but soon a rumor went around that the accountant was thoroughly dishonest. So his employer called him in and said, What's this I hear about you stealing from me? Get your report in order, for you are to be dismissed. The accountant thought to himself, Now what? I am through here. I haven't the strength to go out and dig ditches, and I'm too proud to beg. I know just the thing, and then I'll have plenty of friends to take care of me when I leave. So he invited each one who owed money to his employers to come and discuss the situation. He asked the first one, How much do you owe him? My debt is 850 gallons of olive oil, the man replied. Yes, here is the contract you signed, the accountant told him. Tear it up and write another one for half that much. And how much do you owe him? He asked the next man. A thousand bushels of wheat, was the reply. Here, the accountant said, take your note and replace it with one for only 800 bushels. The rich man had to admire the rascal for his shrewdness. And it is true that the citizens of this world are more clever in dishonesty than the godly. But shall I tell you to act that way, to buy friendship through cheating? Will this ensure your entry into an everlasting home in heaven? No, for unless you are honest in small matters, you won't be in large ones. If you cheat even a little, you won't be honest with greater responsibilities. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's money, why should you be trusted with money of your own? For neither you nor anyone else can serve two masters. You will hate one and show loyalty to the other, or else the other way around. You will be enthusiastic about one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. The Pharisees, who dearly loved their money, naturally scoffed at all this. Then Jesus said to them, you wear a noble, pious expression in public, but God knows your evil hearts. Your pretense brings you honor from the people, but it is an abomination in the sight of God.